Dylan from bullerfund.com and today I'm going to show you a quick way how to install a Google Pixel into your ClickFunnels account. So let's get right to it. So first thing you want to do is go to tools and settings and Google Ads account. Obviously if you don't have a Google Ads account you've got to go and make one. Go to this little plus sign and generally what you want to do is you want to do website. Although these other things could be applicable but if you just want to track conversions from one of your ClickFunnels funnels and just get data from whenever someone buys something you want to do simple website so after website it depends what you're tracking if you're tracking a purchase you you your click purchase if you're tracking a lead you would click lead page view but generally you just want to do purchase leads maybe sign ups I'm going to lose leads for this example so name whatever you want it's called the click funnel free and generally you want to do use the same value for each conversion you know if it's a dollar whatever but obviously because it's a lead it doesn't really have a value so not really applicable and you want to do a count, select how many conversions you want to click, run them in for purchase for each purchase available. Well, what you want to do generally for lead for signups and leads is one because it makes sure that only one person will be counted for. So if they sign up with two different emails or they sign up twice with the same email, it'll only count as one. So you don't want to have your data miss screwed if someone accidentally signs up two, three times and you only get one lead for your email marketing platform. And then simply all you want to do is create and continue. Very, very simple. And don't mess with emails or tag or use Google Tag Manager. Simple. All you have to do is just paste it into the website's HTML code, which I'll show you how to do. So boom, install your tag yourself. You don't have to mess up with any of this. All you have to do is copy and paste. Boom. Now you want to go over to ClickFunnels account. Go to this specific funnel that you want to track. And obviously if you want to track multiple pages, then you got to do it to multiple different funnels. Go to any funnel you want to actually track. Generally, you want to do the actual opt-in page for when people put in the information or the email. Wait for it to load. One sec. So then all you have to do is go settings, go custom CSS. Sorry, sorry, not custom CSS. Apologize. You want to go to tracking code. And you want to generally you want to leave one space between the previous code that you put into and this one. So one space, copy and paste, boom, and then save. And that's it. That's it. Your Google tracking pixel should be installed. So any conversions, whenever someone buys something or puts down the email address as a lead, it should be tracked and, and be fully listed on your Google AdWords account. So that's it. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for listening. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Put in any comments or any queries or any videos you want me to create and I'll do my best to create them for you.